I'm astonished by this question that everyone asks me. Because for me, it's natural to treat black and white. Black and white is a very beautiful form. Uh, it's different than color. It's not just the absence of color. It is a form, a photographic form of its own. And it's one of the treasures of the cinema that we have color, we have black and white, we have widescreen, we have conventional screen. But it seems that the always the, the people who think of themselves as the bosses of cinema want to limit it and say, no, you can't have black and white anymore. Uh, you can't have this, you can't have that. But, uh, you know, for me, the story of Tetro was an emotional story, and, uh, and I wanted it to be very real, but real in that way that only black and white, which has a realism, yet because it's not with color, it's not real, so it's a poetic realism. So when you see emotional stories like uh, uh, On the Waterfront, or Rocco and His Brothers, or many other films, they are real, but they're poetic drama, and that's what I hope for Tetra. So I chose to do it in black and white, but then because I wanted to make it clear to the audience which was the story of the past, then so they would always know I made it different, which was like color like a whole movie. So not only color, but with a, a handheld camera like a, like a amateur color. 